All right, what's up everybody? Today I'm out here in uh, Santa Cruz, California, randomly. Had a pretty crazy morning already, but uh, I ended up calling out of work. And uh, yeah, that issue's been resolved. Don't really want to get into the details, but yeah, I had enough time in the day to come out magnet fishing, so I guess it turned out pretty good. Anyway, yeah, so I'm here in Santa Cruz at this random spot. I was trying to hit up a bridge in Capitola, but I couldn't find parking anywhere. So I just stopped on the side of the road and figured, hey, let's try this spot, why not? So, and I forgot my other magnet, so I guess we're just using this one for today. It is what it is. Nowhere to tie off, so I got the old belt loop, the old belt hook trick going. <clears throat> okay. Random Santa Cruz Canal, toss one, here it is. Could already tell there's a ton of rocks in here. I <laughs> can already tell I got stuck. That was quick. <laughs> that was the fastest get stuck scenario yet. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I'm stuck on the cement too. Oh boy. Well, maybe this is a better spot. I don't know. Don't look like it. Oh, dude, it's like ra road rage city in California, especially now that gas is six dollars a gallon. Everyone's really losing their stuff. <laughs> yeah, so right off the bat, I got stuck. There's a ton of rocks in here already. It's like a deep drop off. I have literally no expectations for this spot whatsoever. <laughs> That's just a piece of eucalyptus. Okay. I don't know. This spot's kind of kind of treacherous down there, man. I don't know about this one. Also, this is one of those like close to the road sketchy ones too. Yeah, I don't know, it's weird. There's a lot of like deep holes and like big rocks here. And then there's like a big rock right here, all crazy. Everything's just all crazy down here. <laughs> I'm gonna try it further closer to here. Look at all the bread everywhere. Guys, don't feed bread to ducks. Feed them, well, don't feed them at all, but if you're gonna feed them, feed them like peas or something or corn. Don't feed them bread, they don't want, they don't, that's not good. All right, yeah, but this spot clearly looks like a little like weed spot, kick it spot. There was a dude just smoking right over there, so there might be stuff better over there, I don't know. But over here is sketch. Oh yeah, classic step on the rope scenario. Oh yeah, thanks for everyone who uh, attended my premiere this morning. Appreciate you guys. Here's a big road rage situation out here. That's weird. Let's see, do we have something on here? Or is it just sticks, sticks stuck? Oh yeah, that's something all right, buddy. <laughs> Check it out. Nice. I got a bike part with something tied to it. Little BMX handlebars, that's what's up. And a, and a tube thing. I wonder what that's all about. What were they trying to do with this? That's interesting. Okay. So far I got bars. If anyone was in doubt if I had bars or not, I got bars. 
and I got and I got hose. I got hose in different area codes because I'm in a different area code. These hose ain't loyal. Captain save a hose. Hector the hose protector. Okay, I'm done. But yeah, I drove up here to um, hit up this bridge next to a train trestle over here in Capitola and I just could not find parking for the life of me except for parking you had to pay for. And if you've been watching this channel, you know I'm not about that. We ain't paying for nothing out here. Free everything for life. Okay, nice big tree. <laughs> That's gonna be a problem. Already this rope is a problem too. That feels like a metal stick. I don't know about it though. There's a lot of wood down here, so. I wouldn't be surprised if I got caught up on just like hella trees too. Maybe I'll get my gun here. Shout out to Mike. Oakland Magnet Fishing got his first gun. That thing is, a, it's an airsoft gun. But that thing looked like the for real, real deal. Like you said, the police don't care. <laughs> you got something? Mm, no, just a lot of sticks right here. Is this metal right here? Yes. Land fishing. Here, let me just put it in here and get it a little wet. Okay, there we go. Now it looks normal. To be completely honest, the real reason I came out here today was not to magnet fish. It was to get Hawaiian food. That's the real objective here. So even if I don't get anything here, I'm getting Hawaiian food. So I win. <laughs> I win. I win, you lose. I'm number one, you suck. Nothing, nothing. Nothing burger. I wonder if the Hawaiian place has nothing burgers. If they don't, I can supply them. See, everything here feels so heavy because of all the sticks. Cause these eucalyptus trees just shed branches like crazy i could just blow on one and half the thing will fall down oh there's something on here i see it i see it oh no oh no i think i know what this is from i think you guys might know what this is from by now if you've been watching my channel <sighs> that's a cart piece if i ever seen one signature like fraying silver with like the inside like shards all sharp and crazy telltale signs of a cart i'd say this one is approximately um 14 around 14 years <laughs> i don't know i don't want to know i don't want to find a cart please no carts i'll take cart parts but i don't want a whole cart there's no dumpster around actually there is a dumpster i see one right over there never mind bring it on give me the cart ah. what really got my attention here i don't know if you can see it but those docks over there but those are belonging to those people's homes so i don't think i have any way of getting over there also there's a super sketchy pier down there but i don't think it's safe to walk on and i don't want to be like that's definitely like a police called on me situation in this town i got something or what oh we got something yeah that's 100 percent cart piece that's a lake shank if i ever seen one right there boy that's a sharpie and i ain't talking about a pin Look at that one too. Yikes, it's got the little hand palm. Stick them, ha ha ha, stick them. Yeah, there's 100% a cart in that general direction. So I'm gonna throw somewhere else. 
you know what, I'm going to ditch this tied on to my body stuff because it's pretty annoying and I didn't even notice this right here. Right in front of my face, right under my nose. Thanks, nature. Oh, yeah. Already sore. I've been in a different department at work and it's kicking my butt. I'm out of shape. I'm not a young man anymore, guys. Uh, it looks like a whole lot of nothing. Well, that's something, I guess. Is that a... Wait, how is that even on there? Is that metal? What are you? No, that's a stick. Boring. Man, this is a weed spot if I ever did see one here. Tell you what. Should I throw in here? Might end up in there. Let's do some visual fishing. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't see anything. I'm gonna get out of here before I end up in there. Huh. I think I might toss it off of here, actually. This is a kind of cool little spot. See, this is a weed spot right here. You got the wind blocker. Like, you can get cutty if the cops come through. Not that they care about anything anymore, but you know what I mean. Can't wait for that Kratos. Oh boy, I can't wait for that Kratos. Should be here on Friday. Which is my day off, that's perfect. Get that thing set up, have it going on Saturday after the Loctite dries. Yeah, buddy. Uh, I think I have something again. Yeah, more cart, dude. <laughs> oh, dude. Why? Yeah, that's a that's an old one. That's vintage looking to me. Probably like the old Safeway, maybe an old Costco. Oh, look at that mud on the on the 3M kicks. No way. These shoes are the are just as smelly as everywhere I've ever been in them. I don't know why I still wear these things. Yeah, see, something feels so, like, metal right here, but... So metal, bro. No, something feels so metal down there, like, really clicky, but... There's just so many sticks, too. I feel like half the stuff I'm clicking on just gets knocked off. Are you sticks or are you metal? What are you? You're sticks. Oh, boy. I think I see some fishing line though. Damn, that's coming from somewhere. Okay. There we go. That's no Grandma Kelly bundle, but I'll take it. Yeah. Let's go over here. Okay. This isn't the most comfortable place to stand, to be honest. I mean, this spot seems like a place you would dump a gun, right? If you really don't want it to be found, because who the hell is going to come out here and find it in all these sticks? Me. That's who. Yeah, I don't know about right here. So far, not so hot. I've done like 10 throws so far right here. Not a lot. And by not a lot, I mean nothing at all. Well, at least I could say I tried. Ugh. What about in here?
I see there's like a broom top in there. I wonder if it has any metal in it. Probably not. Yeah, well, this side is pretty much done. Done for. Nada, nada, nada. Nada, nada, nada. Oh, righty, righty, righty. We're going to keep it moving. I don't want to spend my whole life over here. But hey, we got some cart piece and some handlebars and hose situation. I don't know what the hell. I don't know what they were trying to do with that. That's some tweaker ingenuity right there. You got to be on a sick one to whip something like that up. Tell you what. I got ho -o -o's. hose and handles. Handling these hoes. Oh my god. I guess I'm not actually. It's overspill. Okay, for purposes of not just dumping everything, I'm just gonna put these here for right now. I'll be right back. Oh yeah. It's my bucket list, literally. Gun, knife, got that. I need a safe. I need a sewer cap. And I need a chainsaw. Have you ever seen anyone find a chainsaw yet? I don't think so. I'm going to get put on the map and be the first chainsaw recovery. If there is one out there, send it to me. I want to see it. Okay. I guess we're tossing from here then. That's what the rope wants. Dude, I'm tired. Like, I'm really tired. Not gonna lie, guys. What an interesting day. Let's see if we got anything on here besides a huge stick. <laughs> cool. Yeah, I think there's just too many sticks here on this side for sure, because they were even more under the trees out here. Well, you know what? I know when I'm getting ahead of myself and this is one of those times. Yeah, this side actually smells worse somehow. I don't even know how that's happening, but that's also happening. This looks a little more juicy because it's got the footpath right here. Oh yeah. Am I going in here or what? I know I'm going to hit my head on this at some point. There's a ton of like, what's it called in here? Big, huge rocks. <laughs> That's what they're called. Um, whose little piece is this? Osaka? Osaka is killing it out here in Santa Cruz. Not going to lie, bro. I see Osaka more than pretty much anybody else out here. Yeah, this is a not chill one. Look how, I mean, you can see, I don't know if you can see, but the rocks here are atrocious. If I get stuck here, I can't get another angle on it either. I don't know about this one. I mean... Yeah, I'm already getting caught up on everything. This isn't good. This isn't a good spot. Yeah, this spot isn't isn't so hot. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a wrap on this one for sure. All right, we might have to do a plan C situation here. Unless I can find parking in Capitola again, but I doubt it. That place is ridiculous. And they want like $40 for day parking. Like, are you kidding me? I just spent $30 on five gallons of gas. Like, are you, I'm not spending $70 on like barely using the car today. That's insane. 
Well, shoot, okay. That's gonna be it for this spot for sure. I'm gonna have to hop on the Google Earth and see what's close to me, if anything. Cause last time we were in Santa Cruz, like, well, you might have saw that. It was a pretty dry scenario. Oh yeah, Mike, real quick. Life hack, hose water for the rinse off scenario. Free game. <laughs> All right, see you in a sec. All right, you guys, I'm at Plan C spot. This is not my drink, by the way. These are way too sugary, I don't like these. Anyway, <laughs> I'm at Plan C spot at this like harbor thing. Um, I don't really know what to expect here. I didn't expect there to be a pipe right in front of me. I think there's a piece of metal right here, but as you can see, it's like super clean for a change. So um, yeah. So there's like a lot of dock space around this little harbor. So I'm just gonna kind of walk around and see what's up. I actually found like a really good parking place for a change. So I'm just gonna use that as an opportunity to scope it out. If not, maybe catch some stuff. So just real quick, I just wanna see if this is a piece of metal or not. Yeah, that's definitely metal. I'm gonna switch magnets too, cause I'm kind of tired of this heavy one. And I'm also tired of switching magnets all the time. Come on, UPS, get my thing here. Okay, yeah, tired of switching magnets. Pretty soon it'll be 360 time all the time. Okay, so I do think this thing is metal. It's just stubborn metal. Hmm, okay, cool, we got a little screw. And a rock. And then this sharp deal right here, what is that? That's a little tetanus stabber. Yikes, always wear your gloves. See, I'm stuck on it. It's just not coming up. Oh, wait, there it goes. There she goes. <laughs> nice, dude. Cool. Okay, we got a nice big chunk. Nice big old chunker. What do you think it is? Look at all that stuff. That's pretty gross. Jingle bells, jingle bells. Okay, there it goes. Dude, this is a... Hefty steak right there with all the junk knocked off of it. That probably been down there forever. Steak dinner tonight again. Already used that title. What would I do without the bad bad dad jokes and bad puns? Could you imagine if I actually had a kid? They'd ban me for dad jokes. They'd deplatform me. Oh, got a little little nut on there well i can clearly see that there's nothing else in this water right here i'm gonna go check out the other little part right here just to say i did it Ugh. not tied on living dangerous oh look there's a lot of metal right there or is that brick oh no that's bricks bricks some rebar chunkers right there in cement though those aren't coming up i see a white thing but i it might just be a shell yeah definitely just a shell it's a shell of its former self okay yeah that's an old nail that's some metal some rocks mostly though. This is metal and this is metal and this is metal. Okay. Put that right here for now. Anything down here? Not really. This looks like metal. Yes, yeah, sir. -y. Sure is. Nice. Okay. So we're getting some old crusty rebar out the ocean. That's cool. I'll take that. Not a whole lot else though. Is that metal? 
See, Mike, we're making the visual fishing trend right now. We're, we're Cali boys, man. We're setting the standard. <laughs> hey, okay. That's an old bolt. I think. I mean, everything down here is just toast because this is salt water. That's pretty good. I mean, shoot, I'm not complaining. I mean, look how beautiful it is out here. How could I possibly be complaining about anything at all? I'd be a straight up sucker to be complaining right now. Oh, there's another little. Yeah, these are both metal. That's both metal. Okay. Oops. <laughs> I just keep hitting that pipe super hard. Let's go back up here so I can see what I'm doing a little better. <sighs> yeah, so that's a little metal piece. I gotta go get the bucket, rock. Yeah, just some little slags. You see those things though? Do you think those are pipes or you think that's just sticks? Might just be sticks, I don't really know. This looks like a rebar right here though. Come on up, come on up, crusty boy. Yes sir. See, we're doing pretty good out here. That's not bad, that's really old. That's good though, let's get all that stuff. See, I don't know, those might be rebars or they might be sticks, I can't tell. Yeah, see, now that I can see this thing in the water and like see how it performs and sticks, or well, not sticks to things, now I get why I'm not getting stuff like all the time. I mean, not all the time, but you know what I mean? Like hit the same spot a trillion times and get something like way later. Where did that one go? Right here. I think that is rebar. I'm just not picking it up. Guess we're switching the magnet again. Oh boy. Is that a rock or a metal? I think that's metal. Smells like metal. Does that even make sense? Probably not. Does it have to? Probably not. Okay, I think we got the big one. Yes, yeah, sir, we sure do. Yeah, buddy. We're getting the big boys out of here. Okay. Another one. I mean, I, I think it's safe to assume that those are all rebar, really. Shoot. Got another one. Yes, sir, we sure do. They're hard to stick on because all the crust on them. Uh, just getting a lot of rebar. I'm doing magnet fishing. Yeah, so we're just cleaning it up a little bit, but it's a lot of this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it sure is. He knows what magnet fishing is. That's impressive. Spreading, guys. Spreading. Going viral. Yeah, I mean, I think that's all rebar, but like it's so crusty that it just doesn't want to stick onto it. Come on, dude. Like I can feel it's pulling on, but there's so many like rocks around it that it's just not, not coming up. Okay, those rebars will remain for now until we can get some kayak action or something going on. Kayak action? Is that the proper term? I don't know. Did I just make a proper term? I don't know. It's this little piece of metal. Good lord. Rocks. 
Okay. So that's about it for what I can see right here. I'm gonna keep walking. Actually, I'm gonna try those rebars one more time. Oh, and I got the magnet stuck. That's awesome. That's what I get, dude. That is what I get, dude. Let's see if we can do the old different angle trick on it. Dude, why? I should have just kept it moving like I said I was gonna. Ah, dumb, dumb, dumb. Oh, here it comes. Okay. Jeez, that was stressful. Okay, so since I have to walk like 40,000 miles, I'm just gonna keep these down right here for now. Cause they're actually pretty heavy, but I have to, this is my only way back out. So I'm gonna have to get them on my way back out. Plus there's a nice healthy dumpster right up there. And I'm not talking about a trash can. Look at that blue, October 17th, 1989. That's older than me. That's why you date your scribes. I was born in December, 1989. 12, 12, in case you were wondering. One, two, one, two. All right, I'm gonna keep it moving, see what else is at this spot. Jeez, now that's a big old piece of metal. What do you think that thing is for? Good Lord. If you're really serious about your scrap metal game, come down here and pick this bad boy up. This is like the world's biggest railroad spike. The hell? Sheesh. Man, I wish I could just take one of those little carts, bro. If it was past me, it'd be all day with that green one. It's not locked up, but... I'm a new man, I don't do things like that anymore. I clean up the environment now. I don't I don't destroy things and steal things anymore. Not on camera, <laughs> anyway. All right, guys, I think I finally found a spot. So this is like where the tsunami hit, actually. This is, this spot was like totally underwater right here. So, um, yeah, this little spot, I don't know. There's a ton of rocks out here. I'm just gonna go ahead and try it since I'm here, really. I can't see too good down there, but it looks like there's some stuff. Okay, so, mystery spot. Let's see what's good here, I don't know. Yeah, there's a big old piece of metal there. I don't know if you guys can see that. In the water, it's like orange. But it's like huge. It's like enormous. Like a huge pipe. I see some metal down there. See, with the, with the clear water, like semi-clear that you can actually see in, I can see like how this magnet is performing. Like how it's just... It's like hitting stuff like on the side and not sticking and then like pulling over stuff. Like, so I, I see why these are becoming, uh, what's that fancy word? Uh, antiquated, that's it. They're becoming antiquated. Really curious to see what that new, newest Kratos is all about though. So I'm gonna throw this single sided one on and see if I could get this piece of metal up out of here. Yeah, I don't know. That thing is really big. See, look. It must be braided cable because all that little needle stuff. It must be the, that's probably, it's probably this kind of stuff. That's why I need the scraper too because this stuff's so annoying to get off. Ow, and it goes right through the glove and right into your skin. Tetanus time, baby. Oh, what's this? Here's something. Nice. A little bracket thing and a magnetic rock. Sick. That's something, I like that. That's cool. 
Now we're talking. There's something. Yeah, that's just another shard. Here's something. Net. There we go. Mm, really old hook. There's the big one. Right in the face, buddy. Okay, now that the mud is cleared, can you see that? Big ol' wire thing. <sighs> yeah, see, it must be anchored down somehow because it's not coming up. And I don't know if you can see that one. That one's huge. That one's really long. It's, it's this stuff, whatever you call this. I don't know. But that's exactly what it is, 100%. Like, let me see if I can pull this one up. Okay, yeah, there we go. Or no, I don't know. Can you see that? It's got a huge loop on it, and it's, like, cemented in. So I don't think it's coming up. Yeah, like, there's an enormous loop on the end. Probably same with this one. Yeah, whatever those are, are they're like, they're cemented in, they're anchored down. They're not meant to come out. Oh, we got a little chunk though. That's nice. Take the chunks all day, baby. This is like a sewer pipe or something, it stinks. All right, well, we're running out of light here and I've been up and down this thing. So I'm gonna just give it like one more kind of out and that's gonna be it for right here. And maybe it for the day too. So I'm tired. Okay, there it is, bud. <laughs> nice, huge drill bit. Is that technically a tool? Can I say it? Two, maybe. All right, that's a good last find for sure. So since we're running out of daylight, I'm gonna just go ahead and say, you know what? That's gonna be a wrap for today. So, hey man, thanks again for watching, for hanging out, for supporting the channel. Woo. Yes, sir. So don't forget to shank that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, bell in the corner, all that jazz, share this channel. But as always, guys, thank you so much. I really appreciate you all. 400, all 442 of you guys. 443, maybe. Means a lot to me. Means the world to me. This channel is literally the most important thing in my life right now. So I really do appreciate it. Straight up. So with that being said, peace out. Have a good day. And we'll see you in the next one.